Hello friends, as promised, this video is for class 2 English Olympiad that is IEO last year question paper 2022 set B. I have already uploaded set A today. So go watch that also and now you can solve set B as well for more practice. Let's solve it together. First section is word and structure knowledge. For questions 1 and 2, choose the word which is spelled correctly. Question 1, and it looks like they're talking about waiter, which means a man whose job is to serve customers at their tables in a restaurant, cafe, etc. And the right spelling is option C, W-A-I-T-E-R, waiter. Question 2, and looking at the options, it looks like they're talking about trouble which means a difficulty or problem. And the right spelling is option D, T-R-O-U-B-L-E, trouble. Question three, choose the synonym of frightened. Synonym means similar meaning word. So let's find out, is it scared, comfort, bold or glad? And the right answer is A, scared, because Frightened and scared both means filled with fear. Question 4. Choose the antonym of accept. Antonym means opposite word. So what it could be if somebody is accepting, then the opposite would be rejecting. So option B is the right answer, reject. The word accept means to agree to something and the word reject means to refuse to take something. For questions 5 and 6, choose the correct answer. Question 5. What is the day before today called? Very easy. It's called yesterday. Option B is the right answer. Question 6. What do you call a person who makes things from wood? A person who makes things from wood is called a carpenter. Option D is the right answer. For questions 7 and 8, choose the correct option for the underlined word. Question 7. I was waiting for my friend in the park and the underlined word is in. Is it pronoun, preposition, conjunction or adverb? The word in in the sentence is a preposition because it points to a location or position within or inside something. So option B is the right answer. Question 8. The stars are twinkling in the night sky and the underlined word is twinkling. And twinkling is an action word. What is action word? It is a verb. Option C is the right answer. For questions 9 to 15, choose the correct option to fill in the blank. Question 9. Radhika is a brilliant student. Dash always comes first in her class. Now, the right pronoun should be she. She always comes first in her class. Option C is the right answer. Question 10. Arjun is dash on the road. Walked on the road, walking on the road, walk on the road or walks on the road. And the sentence here is in the present continuous tense because it expresses an action that is ongoing in the present. So, the answer should be walking. Option B. Arjun is walking on the road. Question 11. Manisha is dash rude to everyone. Very rude, much rude, lot rude or more rude. And the right answer should be option A. Very rude. Because it is modifying the adjective rude in the sentence. Question 12. I eat ice cream dash. It was very hot today. I eat ice cream but it was very hot today. So it was very hot today. Because it was very hot today. Or all oh, it was very hot today. Now here the conjunction because is used to combine two sentences. For it is used to give a reason of something. That means I eat ice cream and the reason was it was very hot today. So option C because is the right answer. Question 13. I always go on morning walks dash my mother. For my mother, with my mother, to my mother or into my mother. 
Here the suitable preposition to be used is with because it indicates that the subject accompanies her mother on her morning walks. So option B with is the right answer. Question 14. He is dash naughtiest boy in our family. It's very easy because naughtiest is superlative, right? And we use article the with superlative adjectives. So option B the is the right answer. Question 15. She wore a dash dress on her birthday. And the right answer should be option A beautiful. Because it rightly describes the quality of the dress in the sentence. She wore a beautiful dress on her birthday. Moving to our second section that is reading. For question 16 to 20, look at the picture and choose the correct answer. Question 16. Mom and dad are looking dash each other. Up each other, at each other, off each other or in uh, each other. The preposition at is used to indicate the direction in which mom and dad are looking and they are looking at each other. Option B is the right answer. Question 17. Anjali is holding a dash in her hands. Anjali is holding a football in her hands. Option A is the right answer. Question 18. There is a dash sitting on the bench. Please see. There is a man sitting on the bench. Option C is the right answer. Question 19. Which fruit is not there in the picture? Now let's see the picture. We can see an apple. Yeah. A watermelon. Yeah. A banana. Yeah. But can we see pineapple anywhere in the picture? No. So option A. Pineapple is the fruit which is not there in the picture. Question 20. Which of the following is in a pair? Pair means in the set of two. So we can see a pair of rackets in the picture. Option B is the right answer. For questions 21 to 25, read the passage and answer the questions that follow. So let's read the passage very carefully. Long ago in ancient times, a king had a large rock placed on a roadway. He then hid himself and watched to see if anyone would move the large rock out of the way. Some of the king's wealthiest merchants and courtiers came by and simply walked around it. Many people loudly blamed the king for not keeping the roads clear. But none of them did anything about getting the rock out of the way. A peasant then came along carrying a Heavy load. Upon approaching the rock, he laid down his burden and tried to push it out of the road. After much pushing and heaving, he finally succeeded. When the peasant went back to pick up his load, he noticed a purse lying on the road where the rock had been. The purse contained many gold coins and a note from the king explaining that the gold was for the person who removed the rock from the roadway. Wow, such a lovely story. Now let's answer the questions. 21. Where did the king place the large rock? And the right answer is on roadway. Option B. Question 22. The dash and dash came by and walked around the rock. What is the right answer? It's option A. The merchants and courtiers came by and walked around the rock. Question 23. In the given passage, who removed the rock lying on the road? The right answer is option B. Peasant. Question 24. What did the peasant find lying on the road? It was a purse. Option A is the right answer. Question 25. Find the word from the passage which means the same as earliest. The right answer is option C. Ancient. Moving to the text section that is spoken and written expression. For questions 26 to 30, choose the correct option to complete each conversation. Question 26. Preeti, I like Ananya's sense dash humor. Pinky, me too. So here let's look at the options on, off, at or up. The suitable preposition to be used here is 
of sense of humor because it expresses the relation between sense and humor in the sentence option b is the right answer question 27 nancy during christmas the malls are very and the right answer should be crowded the suitable suitable adjective to be used is crowded which is option c which means full of people it is used to describe the condition of the mall during christmas question 28 jatin you dash watched this movie have you ram yes i have and the right answer here is option d you haven't watched this movie have you and ram said yes i have question 29 radha i am sorry i am dash my words back gagan it's all right i am take my words back took my words back taking my words back or taking my words back the sentence here is in the present continuous hence because it expresses an action that is ongoing in the present so the answer should be option d taking radha said i am sorry i am taking my words back question 30 tanya nina always makes dash false stories about everyone in the class up false story makes down makes two or makes in the suitable preposition to be followed by the singular verb that is makes is up in the sentence option a makes up means to think up a story or plan moving to our last section that is achiever section and it holds double marks for each question for questions 31 and 32 Choose the correct option to fill in the blanks. Question 31. The Antarctic blue whale is the dash mammal found on the earth. Largest mammal, large, larger or largely. So closely watch here. With the definite article the, we use the superlative degree of an adjective. So the answer should be largest option A. The Antarctic blue whale is the largest mammal found on the earth. Question 32. My grandfather prefers to listen to dash music, big music, thick music, soft music, interested music. And the suitable adjective to describe a music is soft. Option C. Question 33. Choose the correct word which is spelled correctly over here. And it looks like they are talking about gigantic over here. And the right spelling is option D. G-I-G-A-N-T-I-C. Question 34. Choose the synonym of activate. Synonym means same meaning words. So here the options are start, close, finish and imitate. The synonym of the word activate here is start. Option A which means to cause something to begin. Question 35. Choose the correct option to complete the conversation. Dad, are you learning Dash French at school? Son, yes I am. We do not use any articles with the names of languages. So the answer here should be no article. Are you learning French at school? Option D is the right answer. And with this we have successfully solved class 2 English Olympiad. Question paper of 2022, set B. I hope you were able to solve a lot of questions in this question paper. And if not, then answers were clearly explained, which is going to help you definitely. I'll be posting many more videos. Keep watching and check out the playlist Olympiad exams. It has so many solved question papers. For now, bye-bye and thank you.